What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel Team Great Luck here. Of course, I'm your host, Henrico, and today is our Carpet Vanguard Standard Market Watch. Meaning in this video, we're only gonna go, we're only gonna go over cards in standard format to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. But before we, we begin, please remember to comment, like, subscribe, and check out the channel for more videos. Also, we do have more videos coming up such as deck profiles, match videos, and case opening videos, which we will start by next month. And every Thursday is gonna be our standard market watch, and every Friday, which is tomorrow, is gonna be our Carpet Vanguard Premium Market Watch. So stay tuned. And also, there's a bell button down there somewhere. If you click it, it'll give you notifications when our videos are up and running. And if you do want to support our channel in any way, or if you guys need to make any purchases off TCU.com, we do have a link down below. If you click it, it'll take it directly to TCU.com. And any purchase they make whatsoever, whatsoever off of our link, we get a small percentage, and it is no extra cost. Now, yesterday morning, I woke up to a lot of big news, a lot of Facebook posts, a lot of complaints, a lot of happy cries. Boosterhood has released the schedule for the next upcoming booster sets and trial decks. So far, everyone's all hyped about Altmau coming back to standard format, Asha coming back to standard format, and Krona Dragon, well, Krona Jet Dragon is also coming back to standard format. But they're getting a booster set. I, I believe it's a booster set, or potentially it's an extra booster set, and a trial deck for each clan. So there's a lot of hype. For those three clans and we're going to check on the market to see if any if any of the perfect cards are up in the market because again guys we are getting more support for, for royal paladins gear chronicles and uh, neo nectars and i can guarantee you a lot of people are, are going to jump on the hype train for them but the question is will those will the perfect cards for those clans go up in the market let's find out now the first card that i want to talk about is this grade 2 genesis rare from bto7 <clears throat> infinity infinity cradle this set honestly was such a good set to invest in if any of you guys bought a case of this set you definitely make your money back. You definitely make making your, your money's worth. So there's only seven listings, a bunch of them for two bucks and change. Again, guys, it's a grade two rare. It's not a triple R, not a double R. So if you actually have this grade two rare in your in your bulk piles, I recommend to look through them because this grade two rare is actually going for value at two bucks and more. Now somebody brought this up to me saying, Rico, Hanzo's are going up in the market. I was like, all right, let's check. So the SCRs is still holding at 25 to, 25 to 26 bucks, while the VRs are actually above the market price at 18 bucks each with only 11 listings. Uh, this I kind of don't agree with because just the fact that we just had uh, Worlds and the top decks were, of course, Excel decks, uh, Murakumos, Pale Moon, Aqua Force, and Arakami, and soon to be Bermuda Triangles. I'm not trying to say that Nubatama is a bad clan. I'm just saying that I don't think Hanzo should be above the market price. I don't think Hanzo should even be 15 bucks. Um, not, again, I'm not trying to say Nubatama is bad. I'm just saying that I don't think there's a lot of interest in, in the Nubatama at the moment. Now, we've been watching this grade two Revenger Masquerade for a while, and it's been gaining value ever since. And at one point, it was bought the market. The VRs, is, there's only five listings, a bunch of them for 23 bucks and change, but the SVRs at one point were bought off the market. Like someone actually bought mine for 28 bucks, and I was surprised. And that was the last one too. Now, there's two listings for 34 bucks each. Only two listings for the SVRs. So, Masquerades, the Grade 2 Revenger for Shadow Paladins, is actually more expensive. Both versions, VR and SVR, is more expensive than Morja Phantom. Now, I have been telling you guys to watch out for this card, to watch out for Narukami cards. A lot of Narukami cards are gonna go up in the market. And one of them did. Fiendish Sword Eradicator Trolls. The SPs at one point were bought off the market. And now we have one listing for 50 bucks. But it gets better. The triple R's are now ten dollars with only twelve listings. There's only one listing for ten bucks. After that, it's a twelve dollar card. Like, come on, only twelve listings. I've been saying it. I've been saying get ready because a lot of people are, are going to start pick, picking up broken cards for Aqua Force, for Narcomies, for Shadow Paladins because we, their their support is around the corner. And of course, Cho's are is a broken grade two for Narcomies. So at the moment, they're holding at ten to twelve bucks. But now to talk about. A little bit of Aqua Force. Wheel of Souls are still holding up in the market at 10 bucks. Well, only two listings for 10 bucks. After that, it's a $13 card with only seven listings. Again, it's the best grade. It's the best on grade one ride for Aqua Force. And this card, Greed Shade for Grand Blue, is still up in the market at nine bucks each with only five listings. Me, honestly, I don't understand why because Booster just, just confirmed that we're not getting support for Grand Blue anytime soon until like mid summer or I believe like midsummer or or next fall, I believe. I'm not too sure. But Grand Blue support is not coming anytime soon. So I'm a little bit confused on why this triple R is still up in the market at nine bucks each. But it gets better. 
Coral Assaults are still holding at 10 bucks each with only six listings. Again, guys, I've been saying to, to pick up to pick up Coral Assaults and Wheel Assaults because Aqua Force, more support is around the corner, and those two cards are definitely, definitely major pickups for Aqua Force. And this card caught me by surprise, and I'm pretty sure it's catching a lot of you guys by surprise. Platinum Ace, the grade two triple R for Deep Police, is actually being bought off the market with only six listings. Six listings. Come on. There's two listings for three bucks. After that, it's it's jumping on. I'm sorry, there's three listings for three bucks and change. After that, it's jumping to the six dollar range. It is taking a huge jump to six dollars. With only six listings, by the way. Me, I'm not too much of a deep police player, so I'm not too sure why this card is going up in the market. If you guys know any reason whatsoever why Planet Mace, the triple R's, are going up in the market, please comment down below and let me know. Now, again, it is confirmed that Aunt Mal is making a return to standard format. And potentially, maybe, the perfect card for Rogue Paladins might go up in value and potentially, I do recommend to pick them up now. Um, right now at the moment, the, perf the perfect card for Rogue Paladins is holding at six bucks each. Well, technically, there's only two listings for, for six bucks. After that, it's jumping to the seven dollar range with only 11 listings. Uh, potentially, this perfect card might get reprinted in the trial deck because Royal Paladins, Gear Chronicles, and Neo Nectars are getting a trial deck, and potentially this perfect guard might get reprinted. Hopefully it does because, of course, the Genesis perfect guard got reprinted in the trial deck. So, if they get reprinted, then that'd be great. So you don't have to, you don't have to spend that much money on the perfect guards for, for Royal Paladins, Gear Chronicles, and Neo Nectars. But if it doesn't, God forbid, Bushro does not give us a reprint on these perfect guards in the trial deck. You can bet your dollar. That the perfect cards for Royal Paladins and Gear Chronicles and Neo Nectars will go up in value. Uh, the question is, should you invest into the perfect cards now? Should you should, should you pick up pick up a playset for yourself now? Um, I'm not too sure to be honest. If you want to take that risk, go ahead and take it. But I wish I can answer it. But my issue is, you can never predict what Bushiro is gonna do. Now this card has been so much drama in the facebook groups a lot of people posting why is this perfect still money why is this perfect still ten dollars gear chronicles are being hyped up it is still selling i recently put up a playset for 950 and people bought them like all my copies of this card is gone so the perfect card for gear chronicles it's only seven listings one for 10 bucks after that it's a 12 to 13 dollar card Come on. Again, guys, I am hoping and praying that, that Bushroad does reprint the, the Perfect Guards for Royal Paladins, Gear Chronicles, and Neo Nectars because the prices for Perfect Guards are becoming insane. And I figured, why not? Let's look at the Perfect Guard for Neo Nectars. Of course, the Perfect Guard for Neo Nectars are still holding above the $5 range. There's only, there's 13 listings, a bunch of them for 7 bucks and change. So potentially, I don't see this card going up in value anytime soon. But again, guys, if you guys want to pick up a playset for yourself, just in case. And of course, the last set that I want to go over, Champions of the Asia Circuit Maelstrom. The VRs are still holding at $31. Market price, by the way, is $30. So people are actually paying $30 bucks for the VRs. It is insane. Um, so if you guys actually had, if you guys actually watched my last match video, Aquaforce between uh, Great Natures, I made a lot a lot of misplays, but I still won that match. And a lot of people made comments saying, "Oh, so this is why Aquaforce is tier two because even even if you misplay, you can still win. You can still win by going first, which is true. Aquaforce is one of the best Excel clans if they go first. And definitely, the value of the cards are showing it. Uh, the VR Maelstroms are holding at 31 bucks. The SVRs are, are at $45 of only eight listings. So the original Maelstroms are definitely up in the market. Let's see what else we can find. And then the guy Romerios are still holding at nine to 10 bucks with only seven listings. Pretty good. And the Perfect Guards for Aqua Force, they're basically eight bucks each of only seven listings. So guys, Again, people are getting ready for Aqua Force. It is around the corner. Same thing for the Rakamis and Shadow Paladins. But the big, the biggest question is, will Bushiroad actually give us reprints of these perf guards? I hope so. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did indeed enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I do recommend to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Tomorrow is going to be our Carver Vanguard Premium, uh, premium Market Watch, so, st so uh, stay tuned for that. And today's Market Watch was pretty spicy. A lot of cards are up in the market. Maelstroms are still money. A lot of Aqua Force cards are up in the market. And of course, everyone was surprised that Platinum Ace, the, the, the most non-viewed grade two for deep police 
is up in value. Honestly, at one point, I didn't even notice that this, that this was a card, Platinum Ace, but it is actually value. It comes to show that a lot of cards in standard format, once a clan gets hyped, once a clan gets uh, gets more support, gets more incoming support, a lot of cards are going are going to go to the market. Biggest example, Phoenix Sword Eradicator Chos are now $10. That's just insane, but yeah, uh, I want to end out the video by saying yes. Blue Shirt has given us more has gave us more information on what sets are coming out, when, and what clans are, are should we should we expect. Uh, again, Neon Nectar's Real Paladins and Gear Chronicles are making a comeback. They're getting their own booster set, or I believe own extra booster set, and they're getting a trial deck each. So hopefully they do reprints on the perfect cards because these perfect cards might go up even further beyond. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Deuces.